Well, welcome everyone. I am so excited to be here today for week three in our seven week chakra journey. I'm sorry, I have a furry friend joining me right away. Come lie down. Um, today we are going to be talking about Manipura. Manipura is our located right near the solar plexus area, right between the navel and the solar plexus area. So right kind of right around here. And it is the chakra that is focused around self-esteem, um, self-confidence, strength, self-worth. And it is also related to the earth element of fire. So week one, we went through Muladhara, which was our grounding chakra, the earth element being the earth, uh, the element being the earth. So very grounding, very foundational, all centered around safety, foundation and solidarity, not solidarity, solidity, I guess. And then week two, we focused on our um, sacral chakra, where it was all around the element of water, very fluid movement. So kind of moving through, but always coming back to that grounding foundation. So beginning with that foundation and just moving with some fluidity. Today, we're talking about the earth element of fire. And we are talking about the area right around the digestive system. So we think about where your organs are, where your digestive tract is. It's all around this area. So we're really centered around this fiery, like our metabolism, you know, working through the food that we eat and giving us energy and creating that spark from within. So um, the mantra for this one is I can. So first one was all about safety. Second one was about that right to feel. And now we're tuning into I can having that right to be here, the right to um, I'm going to say specifically the right word because I'm not using the basic right to act. So that basic action that we take to really fill our energy channels and to fuel our behaviors that change ourselves and the world around us. So today we're going to be moving through a flow and I want you to think of these challenges as opportunities, opportunities to seek that fiery energy from within and to see about how that kind of allows us to sometimes ignite our third chakra through the idea of taking chances of taking uh, risks. And that's something that really can be very invigorating, can be very, very self-confidence boosting. So today, let's begin. We're going to do a little bit of Kabbalah Bhati breath, which is that fiery breath. And I'm going to walk you through Kabbalah Bhati. Um, for some, this may not be the most ideal breath. So if it isn't, I want you to focus just on a nice diaphragmatic breath. And we'll start with our three-part breath to begin with. Uh, and then we'll move into some gentle Kabbalah Bhati breath. If you're familiar with Kabbalah Bhati, which is that fiery breath, uh, you're welcome to do it at your own pace. You don't don't need to go at the tempo I'm going to be doing because I'm going to be doing it really nice and slow today. However, Kabbalah Bhati is really this igniting of the fire. So it's traditionally taught with this bit more of a tempo, a little bit more of a force. But again, this might not be ideal for everyone. So I'm going to let you tune into yourself on this one. So go ahead and find yourself in a seated position. Ideally, for doing Kabbalah Bhati breath, you might want to be stand seated. Um, so if it, that doesn't feel comfortable, maybe you want to bring yourself into a chair or something like that. So let's go ahead and if it feels comfortable and safe, close your eyes. And let's just begin by tuning in and inviting ourselves into the mat today, to our space, to our journey. And our Manipura chakra is represented by the dial that's the color yellow. So let's go ahead and just relax our shoulders, relax our eyes. And I'm going to take both my hands today and I'm going to set my hand, my right hand right around my rib cage and then my left hand directly below. And just kind of can feel the breath entering and leaving the body right around, right between my belly button and my solar plexus area. And that's where we kind of focus in on our third chakra. 
And I want you to think of a bright yellow light. Maybe imagine this bright yellow light filling your hands. Just allow your breath to come in and out. And each time you take your inhale, notice when the breath starts to fill the hands, that bright yellow light becomes really bright. And then as you exhale, it just softens a little. And try to fill your upper body, your chakra, and then your low belly area. So kind of bringing in all the three chakras we've focused on so far today, This the last seven, well, no, last three weeks in our seven-week journey. So as you breathe in, imagine the breath coming all the way down, grounding you into the earth, filling right above your tailbone area in that sacral area, and then lifting up into your Manipura chakra. And you allow yourself to relax in through the shoulders. And perhaps today our mantra, we're going to adopt our mantra from the chakra. So the sh mantra of I can. So reminding ourselves through our practice today to explore, perhaps taking risks. Obviously not with this idea of not like this lack of foundation, but really coming to those risks with that foundation beneath you. And reminding ourselves that everything that we have is all within us. Everything that we need is all within us. So as you take the next five breaths, on your inhale, I'd like you to repeat to yourself either in japa or a japa japa. So japa is where you repeat outward, loudly out of your mouth, not loudly, but just kind of expressing out of the mouth. And a japa japa is where you repeat it silently to yourself. So as you breathe in, repeat I. And as you breathe out, repeat can. Maybe noticing that brightening of that yellow light. Relax your shoulders as you breathe out. Wonderful. And one more. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and release our hands. Maybe you remain with your eyes closed. Set your hands on top of the thighs or maybe at your kind of basket at them at the center of your body. And we're going to begin with Kabbalah Bhati, so that breath of fire. And Kabbalah Bhati really begins deep from the navel space. So there's a slight pulling in of the navel as you breathe out. So let's take a couple of gentle rounds. I just want you to start getting that sense of where it's coming from. So take a nice big breath in through the nose. And then pull the navel space and breathe out of the mouth. Breathe in to the belly. And then breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. Let's do about four more rounds like that. Really gentle. Maybe one last round.
Now go ahead and breathe normally. Now Kabbalah Bhati breath, we're going to pick up the tempo just a little. And I'm going to turn my microphone on so you, off so you don't have to hear me breathing out. But we're going to start with a couple of breaths with a nice little bit of tempo. Again, we're not doing the full expression. If you're familiar with Kabbalah Bhati breath and you've done it before, then I want you to feel comfortable to do it at your own pace. However, if this is new to you, come along with me on this journey. And we'll just take it nice and steady. We're going to pick up the tempo just a little bit faster. And then we'll start picking that up just a little bit for another two more rounds. So we're going to do about 10 breaths. And as we'll start, I'll take the first three or four with my microphone off and then I'm on and then I'll turn it off for the last six or so. So relax in through the shoulders, take a nice big breath into the belly and exhale. Breathe in and out. Take the next 10 a little faster. And then breathe. If you start to feel a little woozy, just take a couple of nice big breaths, just relax. Just notice what's happening. You can feel a bit of that building up of heat in the body. Just take a couple of nice big breaths to the belly and then sigh it out. Just kind of regulate that breathing. Again, this is quite an intense breathing um, practice. So just ease back in really nice and slowly. If you ever watch Tony Robbins, he practices this, this um, regularly daily. He does quite an invigorated Kabbalah Bhati breath. Sometimes we invite the arms. Sometimes we just let the arms rest at the side. Wonderful. Let's slowly open our eyes and start to invite the room back in. Maybe with this renewed sense, there's a little bit of breath, kind of a little bit of ease in the breathing here. Good. Let's go ahead and just loosen up the neck a little bit. A lot of our movement today will be centered around the core area. So just bringing some awareness to that solar plexus kind of area. So we're going to be doing some twists today. So just kind of explore your body today and just explore this idea of I can. Maybe really invigorating that mantra in your practice today. Good. Now as you're seated tall here, let's bring our crown back to neutral, relax the neck, and let's take a nice big inhale up. And then gently twist towards the left, keeping the hip bones nice and neutral. Inhale through center and really turning from that center part of the body. If resting your arms above your head doesn't feel comfortable, maybe set them at your heart. Gently twisting, keeping the pelvis nice and neutral. Breathing out as you twist, breathing in as you come back through center, breathing out. Beautiful, breathe in and breathe out. Wonderful, breathe in and breathe out. One more time, right through center over to the other side. And then let's come back through center and we're gonna turn over towards the left, rest the right hand on the left knee, guide the left hand back and twist towards the left side. Belly button faces forward, really focusing on this upper thoracic rotation, keeping some good core engagement, really inviting that sense of fire in the center of our body.
The chakra is known as the power chakra. And if you think of our powerhouse being at the center. Now on your next inhale, we're going to use that power center to center back in. And then exhale over to the other side. And then start to feel that work in the core here. Wonderful. Beautiful. And then go ahead and unwind using your core coming back through center. Fantastic. Let's take that right arm up and just give ourselves a little side bend here. Using that core to pull yourself back up, draw that right arm all the way down and exhale over to the other side. Think of everything that goes on in this part of the body, our digestive system, our organs, our liver, pancreas. Using the core, pull back in through center and release the arms. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and make our way to the floor. So if you're seated, we're going to just shift our block or our bolster over. And let's go ahead and make our way onto our back. And we're going to bring our knees into a bent position here. And we're going to do a little bit of core work, really focusing on that center, that powerhouse of our body here. So taking our hands right behind the head, interlacing the fingers, setting our sacrum down to the floor, not lowering that low back here. We're really going to fire up the center. Rest the head into the hands, lengthen the back of the neck, and exhale, pull up. Inhale, lower back down. Now here, I want you just to focus on that powerhouse, using all the muscles of our abdomen, really kind of you're almost finding that crease here as you're lifting and lowering at that third chakra, at our Manipura chakra. Staying focused with the breathing. Beautiful. And just taking one breath and then the other. Let's do three more. Maybe you start to feel that building of heat, that effort emanating from the core here. And then go ahead and rest. Come back down, relax your arms. Wonderful. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to invite a little rotation. Again, building more heat in the core here. Set the hands behind the head. Relax the shoulders. Breathe in to lift and exhale, rotate. Shoulder to thigh. Inhale through center. Shoulder to thigh. Imagine that bright light really getting super bright as you rotate to one side. And slightly dimming as you come back through center, just the letting a little bit of that light off, just relaxing a bit. And then twisting over to the side. Our chakra, our third chakra is out of balance. You may find yourself in places of passivity, passivity, a lack of energy. There's this desire to just kind of stay back. Maybe your self-esteem is feeling a little low. We've all been there. Sometimes the chakra just gets thrown out of balance. And when in balance, we feel really confident, 
confidence in our abilities. We're positive. We invite positive self-talk into our lives. We don't blame others. We're connected to our actions. We're warm, we're energetic, playful even. Wonderful. When you're ready, let's finish with one more on either side. Maybe we're starting to feel that heat building here. And then rest. Set your hands to the side. Relax the shoulders. Draw the heels closer towards the glutes, stacking the hips, knees, and the ankles kind of in one line. And let's move into some bridges. Opening up from that bright light of the chakra, opening up the front of the body, press into the heels, engage to the back of the body, and then back down. And again, we always come back to our foundation. So allow the back of the head, the shoulders, the feet to really ground in, to really root into the earth. I so often have to recheck myself, to reground myself, especially on days where I find myself running from one thing to the next. And I get myself in this really airy space where I'm kind of all over the place. And it's in those times where I really put my feet down to the floor, I take a few breaths and I recheck in. I reground. So everything starts with the ground and this is just another little a little taster back at our muladhara chakra so as you move through your bridges here ground your body notice that sense of foundation beneath you really invite that sense of safety knowing that right now you're safe Good. Next time you're ready, come back through center. Set your sacrum down. Let's take our knees in towards our chest. And as we bring our knees in towards our chest, focusing on the core here as you pull the knees in, let's go ahead, if it feels comfortable, lengthen the back of the neck and bring the knee in towards the forehead. You can almost see that bright light kind of really shining so bright right from the core here using the core to lift yourself up and then go ahead and set yourself back down resting the feet down to the floor beautiful draw the right knee in towards the chest keep the left knee bent really pulling in towards your center set your right foot down draw your left knee in pull towards your center use your muscles of the core set your left foot down and as you're ready go ahead and extend your right leg long and from that center core here I want you to allow your right leg to slowly drift down using your core and making that leg go down about halfway and just hold here and then as you exhale use the core pull that leg back up through center lifting it back up Imagine you've got a string from your third chakra right down to your toe, and it's controlling the movement, lowering and lifting. Breathing in as you lower, exhale as you lift the leg all the way back through center. Let's do that one more time. Halfway down. Energize through the leg. Exhale, lift back up. Relax through the shoulders, relax through the jaw. Set the right foot down to the floor. And then go ahead and lift your left leg up. Maybe you've got a little bend in the knee. Relax in through the rest of the body. Inhale, lower. Point the toes. Energize through the legs. Exhale, pull up. <sighs> Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. 
And as you're exhaling, you're pulling in through the core using all the rectus abdominis muscles. <sighs> nice and concentrated. Let's do one more. And then as you're ready, set your left foot down. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Lengthen the back of your neck. Exhale, pull the knees in towards the forehead. Use the core. Lengthen the back of the tailbone. Inhale as you're ready. Release, set the feet down to the floor. Rest the arms here. Next, let's go ahead and bring our legs right up into that 90 degree angle. Knees on top of hips, shoulders relaxed down. We're gonna breathe in, both legs come down halfway. Exhale, use the core to lift. Notice how maybe your foundation might be rocked a little here as you start to strain through the upper body, but I want that body to be nice and soft. And it doesn't have to be a large movement here. You can even go down two inches, maybe even one. Take that risk. And just explore and experiment. Be curious. Now, when I say take that risk, that is not at the at the um, at the peril of our safety. Our safety is first. It comes back to that foundational muladhara chakra. So safety comes first. And when we're safe and we know we can take that risk safely, then we move. Beautiful. Let's do one more. Bend into the knees, rest the knees in towards the heart, lengthen the back of the neck. Exhale, pull up one more time. Now, as you're ready, however you want to get there, either rock yourself up, coming onto your sits bones, or roll yourself to the side. And let's come right onto our sits bones here. Now, feet are going to be hip distance apart. Back is going to be long. I'm going to go ahead and reach the arms. And if this doesn't feel comfortable, you can always sit yourself up taller onto a blanket especially if you've got some low back things going on, sitting up tall is going to feel more comfortable. If reaching the arms feels like it's too much, set your hands beneath the thighs. Roll the shoulder blades back, and we're going to inhale, just lower back. And then exhale, pull back up. Inhale, lower, open up through the heart. Exhale, pull back in. Now I've got my hands right behind my thighs, feather touching my fingertips towards the back of my thighs, really focusing on that Manipura chakra. Maybe breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, open up your heart. Breathe out. Two more times, breathe in. This is not about straining. Allow some fluidity. So tap into that second chakra, that watery, flowy feeling. The next time you lean back, I'd like you to hold this spot. Bring your hands to your heart and gently twist towards the right. Back through center, twist towards the left. Back through center, extend the arms, pull yourself back in. Like you're pulling yourself out of water. Reach the arms, breathe in, lean back. Long back, open up your heart, hands to your heart, twist towards the right. Keep your sacrum right where it is, right from that Manipura chakra. Inhale through center, over to the left. Inhale through center. And I want you to reach forward and know that you have all the strength to pull yourself back in. Beautiful. Come up tall. One last time. Breathe in. Let yourself float back gently. Again, it could be an inch. It could be a centimeter if you're Canadian, then you know that. <laughs> Hands to your heart. 
twist, gentle twist, gentle twist, back through center, over to the other side. Back through center, reach those arms, pull yourself back in and rest. Nice job, everyone. Beautiful. Let's come onto our hands and knees. That was a lot of work. Be proud of yourself. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, back is long. And let's just do a few cat cows here. Breathe in, shoulders back, lift through your heart. Exhale, pull the belly in, round through the spine. And as you do your cat cows here, I want you to focus on that solar plexus area. Pull that belly in, press it back. Finding that power from within. We've all been in difficult spaces, right? We've all done difficult things. And Gabby Bernstein or Glennon Doyle, I don't remember. I don't remember who said it, but she said, one of them, those beautiful writers said, you can do hard things, right? We can do hard things. And if you think of all those hard things we've done in our lives and how it empowered us, how it strengthened us, it gave us the confidence to try different things. I can't tell you how many times, just in this world of fitness alone, where my confidence was challenged, I thought to myself, how can I be doing this? Me. And then I had to pull myself out of that and say, why not me? Right? Get that confidence from within. We have that. It's all within us. Beautiful. Now, as you're ready, let's make our way into our tabletop position. And we're going to do a little twist towards the a little needle and thread here. So set your right hand a little forward of the shoulder. Extend the left arm out on your inhale. Now, from the center of your abdomen, right where that chakra is, we're going to exhale needle and thread and twist. Now, maybe you're allowing your upper body to rest onto a blanket or a pillow. Maybe your top arm is reaching long. Now, if this doesn't feel comfortable, bring your top arm so that the hand is pressing to the floor and your elbow's at a 90 degree angle and just help stabilize your body here. Relax in through the shoulder. We're facilitating a rotation, but we're not forcing our body. We're just kind of wringing out the body here. bringing out anything that's not serving us. Good. Let's go ahead and press into that top arm, unwind our body, come back through center. Extend out through that right arm and needle and thread through to the left. Maybe your left arm extends as you twist. Maybe you set that arm right at the shoulder, gently facilitate a little bit more of a twist through that upper thoracic spine. Relaxing into the space. Maybe you're even envisioning as you're twisting, you're making that bright light even brighter. Press into that top arm, unwind your right from your left, and come back to base. Let's come into our child's pose, knees wide, big toes together, reset. And maybe right now you just bring it into a really restorative child's pose. Let your hands rest on top of one another, forehead resting on top of the hands, relax to the shoulders. Let the hips just open. 
Take a couple of nice big breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Just as you're breathing in through the back body, maybe noticing whether you can focus on that expansion of the breath and that bright yellow light just expanding through the back of your body. And rest. Wonderful. Now the next time you take your inhale, we'll shift ourselves forward, and we're going to make our way into our downward dog. Draw the knees in closer to center. Bring the shoulders, hands forward of the shoulders. Feet are, can be wide. They can be narrow, whatever feels good for you. Press into the heel of the hand with the thumb and the pointed finger being a little bit more of that focus. Set the feet as wide as feels comfortable for your back here. Roll the shoulder blades back and just pull into that abdomen. Really feel the lifting of the sits bones, the dropping of the heart. Let the heels drift down as far as feels comfortable. Really root into the hands, into the feet, and maybe bend in through each knee one at a time. See if you can release any tension through the upper body. Come to this downward dog with such a foundation beneath you. Remembering each time we explore new poses, we come to them with a different perspective. We never do the same pose in the same way twice, ever. We never do anything in the same way twice. As you pedal your feet, breathe into the abdomen, maybe sigh it out, release any tension. <sighs> Inviting this strength through the body, acknowledging your strength and that you can. <sighs> When you're ready, let's go ahead and lift both heels high off the ground, lifting the sits bones, letting the heart space drift down. Exhale, release the heels down. Maybe bringing the feet a little closer towards center, sweep that right leg up to the sky. And then pull that right knee in towards your Manipur chakra, right to your center. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale, set it back down to the floor. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, pull it in towards your Manipura. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, set it down. Either walk or hop yourself to the top of your mat, however you get there. Bring yourself into your Uttanasana. Now, as you're here in your forward bend, let your knees bend. Let your head drift down. Noticing where we're bending from. We're bending right in that area of where our sacral chakra is and our Manipur chakra. Just let yourself shift from side to side, creating that little watery flow like we had last week. Allow the shoulders to drift. Let the head soften. And if it doesn't feel good to be below the heart with your head, come into a half fold, resting your hands on your, on your thighs. And just allow yourself to flow here. Grounding into the feet, tuning into chakra one, and then moving into chakra two. Feeling that movement from the core, moving into chakra three. As you're ready, come back through center, rebalance the feet, rebalance the body, come into a forward bend, bend into the knees, sweep the arms up all the way up overhead, extending the body long. Press the palms together and meet at your heart center. Now, as you're here, roll the shoulder blades back, and I'd like you to take three big breaths. And as you breathe in, repeat I, and as you breathe out, can.
on the next time you take an inhale, let's breathe in all together and repeat I. As you breathe out, can come into a forward fold. Breathe in, half arch, I. Breathe out, exhale, can, forward bend. Breathe in, bend the knees, sweep the arms up, I. Press the palms together, come into chair, twisted chair, can. Twist the left towards the right. Maybe we open the palms. Inhale, bring the palms together, I. Exhale, release down, extend the arms up overhead, press the palms together, sit back into your chair, twist towards the other side, can. Inhale, breathe in, I. Exhale, forward fold, can. Breathe in, half arch, I. Exhale, can. Breathe in, bend the knees, I. Palms together, sit back, twisted chair, can. Maybe you go in a little deeper, explore your options. Breathe in, palms together, I. Breathe out, reach the palms up towards the sky. Exhale to your heart, can. Breathe in, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, down into your chair, twist, can. Inhale, breathe in, palms up, I. This time, press the palms together. Exhale, meet with your hands at heart center, can. Take a moment of pause here. Reground in through the feet. And then as you're ready, release the hands down to the side, roll the shoulder blades back. Inhale, extend the arms up overhead. Exhale, draw the right foot back. Now we're going to prepare to go into a kneeling lunge. However, the caveat is if you've got issues with your knees and coming down onto your knees does not feel good, then I'm going to encourage you to come into a high lunge. And you can choose to stay here or to come down to your knee, whatever feels best. As you're ready, if it feels okay, set your bottom, your back foot down, come into a kneeling lunge. Press your palms together, meet at your heart center. If you're staying in a high lunge, still come back to the space with your hands at heart center. Now from here, we're just going to establish ourselves in this kneeling lunge here. Set your back foot down, bring your right, your top foot underneath the knee, your back hip is open, your hip bones are facing forward, you're tall through the spine. Press your palms together at your heart. From here, perhaps you twist. Maybe you just twist here and set your hand down onto your knee, or maybe you open up with your arms. Again, this can be such a gentle twist. We're not looking to force the body in a twist. Can feel that movement and that energy through the core working here, keeping your hip bones nice and stable, arms are outstretched. Maybe it's just a gentle twist. Set your hands down, lift up through your heart. On your next inhale, come back through center, bring your hands towards center, set both hands down to the floor. Now, if you're in a lifted lunge, maybe you're going to come into that runner's lunge position. Set that right hand down to the floor and maybe gently twist towards the left. If your leg is lifted or if your knee is down, twist towards the left. And I'm going to set my hand here on my knee. Just offer some support, gently twisting. Inhale back through center, curl the back toes under if you're in that kneeling position. And we're going to make our way one step at a time to the front of our mat, back into our forward fold. Inhale, bend into the knees, sweep the arms up, I. Palms pressed together, exhale to your heart center, Ken. Beautiful. Inhale, release the arms to the side, roll the shoulder blades back, take a moment of pause here. Beautiful. On your next inhale, sweep your arms up. And this time taking your left foot back, either into a high lunge, staying here and coming into your twist from this space, or setting your back knee down to the floor. 
And I like to take my back foot a little forward, back a bit more so that I'm not resting directly onto my patella. As I'm shifting forward, my front knee is stacked directly on top of my ankle, and I'm lifting through my core here, really finding that energy right in the center of my body here. Arms are gonna outstretch. Palms pressed together, meet at your heart. Opening gently up through the hips, maybe twisting towards the right, squaring off those shoulders. Maybe resting your hands, one hand on your hip, one hand on your knee. Maybe opening up the palms, twisting, kneeling lunge. Now there's a tremendous amount of work happening here through the core. Inhale, come back through center, meet with your hands at heart center. Down, set the feet down, hands framing the front foot. Maybe your knee is lifted off the ground. If it feels comfortable, twist towards the right. Maybe set the hand just on that right knee and gently twist through your upper body, pulling through your core. Open up your heart. Unwind your body, set both hands on either side of your front foot, curl your back toes under. Let's meet in downward dog. As you're ready, let's walk our hands towards our feet. Let's meet in forward bend. Uttanasana. On your next inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Exhale, come down to your heart center. Well done, everyone. Beautiful. Now we're going to come into some balance work next. So as we're going to come into our balance work today, I want to encourage you to find a wall, especially if it feels like you need a little support there. I'm going to be really nice and close near my wall as well today. So we're going to experiment with a little bit of rotation in a standing position. So we're going to begin first by establishing a nice base. Again, coming back to root chakra number one. And I'm going to begin with my right foot, and I'm going to draw my left knee in towards my heart, kind of in that 90-degree angle here. I'm going to take my right hand just to that outer edge of my left foot, and I'm going to extend my left arm long and then gently twist it past my cross, cross my midline. So maybe here we've got one arm on the, on the wall. My right knee is facing forward. I'm just opening, twisting here. A little bit of opposition here. Then gently guiding that left knee back through center, extending the right arm, opening up the other side. Gently coming back through center, still balancing on one foot. Cross that left knee over that right ankle. Remember to take a break if you need it. When you're ready, start to sit down into your chair. You think of everything that's working here. We're working the core, we're rooting into the ground. We're using the legs. We're using the heart space to stay open. Pressing down. And then when you're ready, release. Nice job. Beautiful. Balancing work is really one of those efforts in yoga that really challenges us. That's where we need to take, we kind of explore that risk option here. See how it feels. So let's go ahead and root into that opposite leg, pull into that top knee, that right knee, maybe bring it in towards your chest. Think of something from a physical standpoint that you've been wanting to do for a long time and you've challenged it and challenged it and you've had some challenges along the way and then suddenly one day it clicks, it happens. I'm like that with some of my yoga poses. Some of them are just, they elude me and then suddenly I get them. And it's pretty empowering and strengthening. Go ahead and twist your leg over your midline, keeping that bottom leg facing forward, a gentle twist, like you're wringing out the body, brightening that yellow light. 
and then go ahead and come through center grab hold of that right knee and open it towards the right take that left arm out find your drishti point go ahead and pull that right knee in and let it cross right over the left open up the hip maybe today this is enough maybe you want to explore hinging from the hips bending from the knee maybe you've got your hands on something stable coming back to that root chakra maybe your hands are balanced at your heart then go ahead and release wow well done beautiful shake that off Ooh. excellent job everyone i'm proud of you well done all right however you want to do it let's make our way down onto our backs we're kind of nearing the end of our class but before we go into our shavasana first of all make sure you have everything you need to be comfortable and do a little twisting on the ground here. So if you have a yoga block and you want to set the yoga block between the knees for your spinal twist, that's absolutely wonderful. I didn't grab mine. Mine are a little bit away from where I am right now, but that's okay. So we'll begin by extending the arms out to that strong T-shape. And then drawing the knees towards center, maybe lifting the sacrum a few inches off and then shift it over to the left. And then go ahead and let those knees drift down towards the right. Now, I love to use a support underneath my bottom knee. If you've got some low back issues going on, this might feel like it's a strain. And I want it to feel restorative in nature. So then go ahead and take that bolster or that pillow and make it as comfortable for you as possible. Wonderful. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and lift your top leg and then your bottom leg to meet your top. <sighs> Unwinding from that center. Reestablish your grounding, your root, and then go ahead and shift over to the other side. And then twist towards the left. Wonderful. And slowly unwind. Reestablish your base. And then one more time, let's bring our knees in towards our chest. Let's set our forehead towards our knees. And then slowly allow yourself to seep down towards the ground. Either allow yourself to find constructive rest pose with knees knocked together and feet wide. Or extend your legs out long on the mat. Maybe a bolster underneath the knees. And let's find our Shavasana. And perhaps maybe just for today. We bring our hands back to our Manipura chakra as a gentle reminder that all the confidence and self-esteem and power that we have is all within us.
Breathe from that space. Repeat, I can. I'd like you to stay exactly where you are. Just begin to focus a little bit more on the breath. Notice the breath entering and leaving the body. Maybe you start to create a little bit of gentle movement in the body. Maybe expanding and creating fists and extending the hands, whatever feels right for you. And perhaps we take this opportunity to roll onto our favorite side, just as a transition point of coming from where we were to where we're going. Knowing that whenever you get to this point, if you feel like you need to stay here a little longer, this is, entirely your practice, so honor you. Whenever you're ready, we can slowly make our way up to seated if you want to. Before we close our practice off today, I'd like to read you a short poem by Gillian Hunt. Set your standards high. You deserve the best. Try for what you want and never settle for less. Believe in yourself, no matter what you choose. Keep a winning attitude and you can never lose. 
think about destination think about your destination but don't worry if you stray because the most important thing is what you've done along the way take all that you've become to be all that you can be soar above the clouds and let your dreams set you free let us meet with our hands and hearts center Nanjali Mudra recognizing and honoring the divine that lives with on with us all within us all now let us close today with one more repetition of I can and if you feel comfortable let's repeat this all together out loud breathe in and breathe out I can May your heart always stay warm and may your smile always stay broad and may the light that shines in me honor the light that shines in you. Namaste. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you. This was a very empowering practice, and I hope that you have this opportunity to revisit this whenever you're feeling like you need to. I know it's such a great one to use. So from my heart to yours, I'm so honored to practice with you, and I look forward to seeing you again next week for our fourth chakra. Thank you so much, everyone. Namaste.